Yo, 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 and thank you for tuning in to the eighth episode of The Connection Podcast. Today is a special episode uh, where we're going to be talking about beers, brews, cervezas, <laughs> all things beer. Uh, we're going to be talking with the Steinbeck Rotary Brew Fest, and uh, it was a great event that happens here in Salinas, California. If you uh, have not subscribed to this show, uh, please smash that subscribe button right below if you're watching us right here on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the Steinbeck Rotary Brewfest. You're tuned in to the Connection Podcast. We are a team of content creators and digital marketers connecting you each week to successful entrepreneurs and marketing experts that provide informational, inspirational, and motivational success stories in the world of digital marketing. Well, hello, ladies. Welcome. Welcome to the show. We're here today with the Steinbeck Rotary Brewfest, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Why don't we start from left to right? Kim, welcome to the show. And we want to introduce yourself really quickly to everybody out there. Hello, my name is Kim Lawson. I'm with the Steinbeck Rotary Club, and I am a beer connoisseur. Oh, I love it. I love it. Carrie, welcome. Hello, my name is Carrie Swenson. I'm a Steinbeck Rotarian and here to talk about the Brewfest. I love it. Hi, my name is Debbie Hale, and I'm a Steinbeck Rotarian. I feel like this is an AA meeting or something. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I've been uh, with Rotary for <laughs> ten years, awesome. and um, no, and and we're here to really to to promote not beer but uh, funding youth services. I love that's 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 amazing. So when I first hear, heard about the the Brew Fest uh, was a year ago, Carrie, I believe you called me first. Yes, I did. I believe that, and I can't quite remember uh, how we connected, but uh, you told me you had, a, you had an event. It's here in Old Town Salinas, and um, you attracted a couple hundred people, and uh, you needed a little bit of, of help with some marketing, which, again, I'm really honored to be a, be a part of it. Uh, kind of skip along, and we'll go back to some of that marketing, but I attended the event, and I was, like, mind-blown. I was like, wow, you told me that it was a fundraiser event. Uh, you told me it benefits uh, some of the students of Al Everett Alvarez High School, correct? Yes, yes. Can you please tell a, a little uh, – first, let's start with telling everybody uh, a little bit about the event and who it benefits. Um, okay, so, so the event started uh, – for this is our fourth year, so we started off um, at the Home Brew Fest downtown Salinas. We had, we had it in the um, – it's the past three years, it's been in the Steinbeck Center and in the Taylor Building. And um, it's a, basically a compilation of home brewers from around uh, Monterey County, the 831 area code. Um, in the past years, we've had about 30 home brewers. Um, this year, we are moving it to the Salinas Sports Complex um, on North Main, the big grassy area to the right. And we're um, anticipating about 40 home brewers. And um, along with music and food, it'll be a blast. I had so much fun last year. I mean, yeah, I was taking pictures. I uh, was taking a lot of video clips, which we're going to be sharing uh, through, throughout some of our marketing for this year. Um, happy to, we're going to be happy to be putting together a, a little TV commercial for you guys to just really get it out there on Facebook and really show everybody the excitement of, of how fun this event was. Uh, and because the people, the, the, um, the diversity of the people from... They came from all over. I was talking with people that were from the Bay Area, enjoying your guys' event. Uh, um, whether that came, they funneled down through marketing or word of mouth or freebie tickets or whatever it was, they were there for, they. I think everybody that was there and that I spoke to knew, like, well, what a great event, and we know that this is here drinking for a good cause, you know? Yes. De Debbie, you were, you were kind of starting to pitch that just a little bit. Want to share a little bit about who, who it benefits and uh, spend more, more, more in-depth more in detail? Sounds like I've already been drinking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't been drinking. <laughs> we haven't been drinking yet on this show. We're in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you want to drink for a cause, as it were, um, the money that we raise from this event will go to our various youth services, um, you mentioned Everett, Everett Alvarez High School, and we help support their um, youth leadership group called Interact. They are an award-winning group of, gosh, almost 100 students mm -hmm. that do community service um, and help out um, those that, that need assistance at the school. So it'll, funding will help support that. But we also do um, some projects with a lot of the different schools. We have a program called Project Helping Hand, for instance, where we do micro-grants for teachers that need some Supplies. That way they don't have to take the money out of their own pockets. And um, all kinds of different things that we do for young people in the community. This is our biggest fundraiser to, to help us support that. But, but more than that, it, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it was it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, every again the diversity of people, everybody was giggling, having a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it did not feel like a. Uh, um, it didn't feel like we homebrew. You know, home small. It didn't seem like a, a Selena's event. I I want to say. <laughs> I mean, it felt like. I hey mean, now. Let's no, I mean, I don't want to be just. Dis- <laughs> I'm not trying to use the right word, wrong words. I'm sorry. It felt. Uh, there's some beautiful events, and Selena's is beautiful. I'm. I'm <laughs> Got me all t- I, I haven't been drinking. I haven't been drinking. <laughs> well, you should. A, I prob- probably one drink would help right now. I, it was such an uh, uh, incredible event because I was having sips of uh, uh, strawberry uh, brew, micro brew. I was uh, tamarindo b- beer. Uh, uh, these, you know, not just your t- traditional ales and and. Uh, uh, I should be. A, I'm not a beer connoisseur here, <laughs> but I think uh, we have a couple of those here for you. Yeah, Debbie, you shared with me a little before the show, and Kim, you 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 enjoy your beers. I definitely enjoy my beers. So I ended up moving back from the East Coast. I'm originally from Salinas, and I was looking for something to get involved in in the community. I just wanted to give back since I was here. I didn't know how long I was going to stay, but. I am here now, and um, I was very pleased to find out about the Steinbeck Rotary Club, and I was an honorary member last year and participated as a volunteer and also a beer judge as a connoisseur. So that was pretty amazing. Um, And since then, I've joined the Steinbeck Rotary Club, and we've done some fabulous things in the community, and I'm very pleased to be a part of it. So with the uh, Home Brew Fest, um, as a beer judge, I was able to judge the IPAs and the sour beers, although that wasn't my specialty beer. I do like the darker beers myself. There's a fabulous uh, coconut chocolate beer that was displayed, but such an array of different beers to try at the festival, and um, Definitely had to cut my beer judge list in half in order to do that, but it was amazing. Thirty different, thirty different microbrewers, fifty different flavors. Do you know anybody that day that had a chance to taste them all? If they did, they were in a corner because <laughs> <laughs> I, I judge the the dark beers and the and the fruit beers, and I I had to cut it short because. <laughs> Definitely. There were so many different kinds. You really have to focus on, okay, what's the kind of beer that I'm going to want to try? And then um, what's fantastic about it is you get in these great conversations with these home brewers. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't get this beer anywhere else. Oh, yeah. So this is an opportunity for them to share their creations with you. Um, there was a fabulous cucumber beer. I think that, I had a cucumber beer. Yeah, it was very refreshing and such. They ran out. Huh? Um <laughs> It's not just unusual beers. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get your pale ales, you can get your standard IPAs mm-hmm. and all kinds of different things. But I really enjoyed the variety that you could get with um, with these people that were so um, really focused and interested in, in getting out their beers and, and having people enjoy it. Uh, yes, and, and this year, it's growing, right? It is growing. Tell us about, uh, who wants to share with us the share, you know, about the growth and uh, in the new direction. This year is going to be at the Rodeo uh, Grounds. Um, yes. Yeah, go ahead and dive in. <laughs> Share with me about this new growth, new location <laughs> on the grass this year. So, ladies, don't wear your high heels, right? <laughs> <laughs> or do. We'll have fun. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, well, we kind of outgrew downtown. Mm-hmm. We, um, you know, it's we're, we're 600 last year was... Um, kind of pushing it for numbers that we could hold down there and um so the rodeo grounds and they're being very gracious to have us there and um it's a much bigger space so we can grow and have more home brewers Uh, we work with Dwayne at bottoms up Mm -hmm. he's the one who provides us you know gathers the home brewers and makes sure that this quality um home brewers he test taste tests all before they come out so um, it's just room to grow there, and it's a big open space. We're going to have music and dancing and uh, more uh, food trucks. There's more room. Just parking is going to be great, you know, so it's going to be a much more convenient mm-hmm. location, and we're really excited to see it grow. Yeah, I, I, I am too. Uh, um, again, when when we sat down, had our very first meeting, um, and again, that's one of the reasons, again, I also was excited about having you on. Not only do I love the event, I love who it supports, um, 
I'm going to bounce my story a, a little bit here in the in the in the recent past. I was at a uh, doing a videography event for a Natividad Medical Foundation for one of their yearly events. Uh, they just called; they needed a videographer. I sh- I showed up, and um, I believe some of your 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 kids or your recipients of uh, sure. yeah the, the, the donation the Wendy Baker. Yeah, and it, and and it kind of came full circle for me. You know, <laughs> really it, that whole picture was full circle for me. I was like. My eyes were lit up, and I kind of knew that uh, again, your your donations, and I seen where it was going and how who it's helping, and you're like, wow, this is amazing, you know. So uh, this was our our interact, the high school kids from Everett Alvarez, and they were sh- selling orchids yeah. at Natividad in order to raise money for the Wendy Baker Foundation, mm-hmm. which is the breast cancer uh, patient assistance. You know, if, if you're low income and you can't uh, get all the support that you need when you're undergoing chemotherapy and such, they raised, was it 10000 oh, Over 17000 Over $17,000 this year. Wow. They are amazing. Yeah, These are high school amazing. kids. And yeah. the money stays local. Yeah. I mean, okay. that's, you know, 100% stays and it stays local. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a, a Nativity um, Foundation group. Yeah, the I'm, Wendy Baker Foundation. I yeah, again, like I said, it came full circle for me. I was like mind blowing. You get anybody that's uh, purchasing a ticket and, and uh, supporting this event. Just know that uh, at the end of the day, you're like you said in the beginning, you're drinking for a good cause. And and um, and when I first sat down again, now kind of going back to where I was leaving off. But when we first sat down and and talked and said, you know, can we can you be an in kind sponsor and and help us. Uh, uh, grow our grow our fest grow our festival. Um, can you share a little bit with our listeners um, where you were coming from in the years past of of uh, your marketing? You know, I want to share a little bit about <laughs> sure. some of the marketing, um, what you were trying to do, uh, uh, and maybe the size of your audience and how. Uh, again, we want to. I want to kind of share with our listeners that are um, really interested in the digital marketing world. Uh, and how it's it's impacted your, the growth of your event, and again now you're forty brew. Now you got forty brewers, and yeah. the event's growing. Your location, you want to share? With you? Sure. Um, you know, I think in the beginning, most of our um, marketing was, you know, we've set up the big um, posters, the big um, boards out in the community, mm-hmm. um, we put posters up in, in windows, um, some radio. Um, I don't think we did any print until last year. So um, a lot of word of mouth. Um, no social media except for what we kind of maybe tr- post ourselves on, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, yeah, it felt very limited, and none of us are marketers. Yeah. Um, so I felt like we, you know, we had to reach out to get um, you know, an expert into and to potentially get another Rotarian in our club. <laughs> <laughs> you guys been crying at me. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, I'll, now let me share how we got you. Uh-huh. So and this is Rotary, and I you know, was, um, Rotary does great things in the community. And we have five Rotary clubs in Salinas, and um, it we hit use me. I remember now. We <laughs> use Esteban. Yeah. Garcia, is he? Yeah. yeah. Esteban Garcia. He's the owner of Kiss uh, Kissmat Kiss Secur- Security. He does our security for our event. And he's a Santa Lucia Rotarian. Huh? So, and when we were meeting with him about security, he mentioned that his cousin, Alex, has Mag One Media and that we should talk to him about, because um, I was mentioning to him, we, we really want to grow it and mm-hmm. we got to find out a way to grow it. Yeah. Um, so then he gave me your information and we reached out and this got awesome. Alex on board. And next year we had. 600 people <laughs> growing yeah. from 200. That's, that's I mean, awesome. I, I think what we have a, a tendency to do in Rotary is to market events to ourselves. <laughs> so we go to other Rotary clubs. We, right. you know, we have um, people that, that are talking to the same people that are always involved. And what was really exciting last year was, as, as you said, there were people from the Bay Area that came out. There were people from all over Salinas, people from the peninsula coming to Salinas, which, you know, doesn't doesn't happen except with a few different events. And so it was exciting to see our event grow because we had expanded our, our outreach and um, appreciate your help in that regard. Yeah, no, and, and, and again, I think it was important to note that um, the marketing budget is, is is very limited. It's very small. It's 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 uh, and we're reaching we're reaching now we're trying to maximize our our dollar um and again i'm i was happy to be a part of that and try to make make when i again if it's for giving back if it's for if, if you know if it's 
I like I like give, I like this whole world of giving back. I don't know. There's something in That's me. That's why that you're I'm a Rotarian. <laughs> you should be a Rotarian. Uh, and, and I think uh, she's ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She'll, get, She'll get me anywhere. She could. <laughs> she could. She could pitch me anywhere. <laughs> I'm not cutting any of this, by the way. Everybody's going to hear that. <laughs> um, I'm okay with but, that. But, uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, again, we used Facebook. Um, we used Facebook. Really, Instagram? Yeah, uh, we used Instagram. And we also did some uh, a few pay-per-click ads mm-hmm. because we really had no one to target. Uh, so we just know we wanted to target throughout the community, people that were interested in, in events, festivals, things like that. And, uh, and then they cycled through, uh, clicked to the site, found uh, you were having online ticket sales on event right which leads me to the question how do people um buy tickets to your event and um you want to share kim maybe we haven't heard your voice in a minute you want to share with how how do do people buy tickets to your event and and uh you know get to attend this awesome festival well um we're gonna have it for sale on the event bride page and we'll have a link on our facebook i believe is that correct okay yeah and and then we are even selling paper tickets as well awesome uh tickets are forty dollars Mm-hmm. Cool. When you go on Eventbrite, it is it's up and running. Excellent. And, and it's May fourth. We haven't even yes. said that yet. <laughs> yes. I was getting so, to that. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about the Cinco May de Mayo okay. weekend. So last Cinco. year we had it on Cinco de Mayo, and this year even cooler. We're going to have it on May fourth. Yes. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sort I, of a beer theme for us too. Yeah. Um, so um, we're going to have exciting things added now that we have more space over at the rodeo grounds. So we're going to have some music. We actually. We have three live bands from the area. We have the El Dorados, which are amazing. If you don't know them and haven't heard them before, they're a band out of Monterey. I actually had them involved in a fundraiser I did this weekend, and they're awesome. awesome. Drew a big crowd. We're also having the Lang Street Band and Wasted Noise oh, cool. as part of our band yeah. lineup. I yeah. think most of our local people will be familiar with at least one or all of them. Yeah, they, they so some great great lineup. Wasted Noise, is that like the band at the end when everybody's <laughs> had all their beer? Yeah. <laughs> Going with the theme here, <laughs> Debbie. Yeah. I think they'll have some draw. They have they have they have some followers and some some listeners. Definitely. I think they'll draw some some attention to to the festival and uh, yeah. and, and draw a lot of great people. And yeah. in addition to that, we're also having some great food trucks. So look, uh, we should have at least maybe three or four we're working on right oh, now awesome. that are going to be participants. So good food, good beer, maybe some beer games. I mean, we were thinking about throwing in some beer pong, uh-huh, something uh-huh. like that. I don't know, or maybe yeah. you know. I think I, I think May the fourth be with you costume for anybody, contest for I don't anybody know. that's um <laughs> For anybody that's thinking they're going to show up to a, uh, a a beer festival, and there there might be a lot of people out there that's showing they're going to show up to a beer festival or a beer. Again, this is a beer sipping event. <laughs> <laughs> We're making we might be making it sound like it's a beer drinking event. It's a beer <laughs> sipping event, but uh, there's some generous pours kind of that going on. And again, there's a whole lot of beer tasting to do. So pace yourself. And but, you get a nice Steinbeck little beer nice tasting glass. glass. Yeah. A little I'm going to share a picture of that on social okay. media once uh, you, once we really start getting oh. the motor running. I have something else to announce exciting that we're working on. So we are actually going to have our first dog beer mascot. He even oh, has cool. an outfit, a uniform oh, that he nice. wears. <laughs> Not his first gig that he's yeah. done as a beer judge. So awesome. I hear he's pretty accurate <laughs> picking the best beers. Uh, I, I wonder how he lets you know uh, uh, which one was his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch your shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch your shoes. <laughs> uh, uh, Alejandro, click, click number two there on the on the roll in there. So I think people are anybody that's listening there on Facebook. I mean, well, I'm not on Facebook. Anybody that's watching us right here on YouTube, uh, uh, I think don't get the. Uh, I think they're thinking they're going to show up to a festival that's quite like this one here, which, uh, if anybody out there uh, is listening, we've got a clip here of uh, Beer Fest. Uh, make sure you're tuning into YouTube forward slash The Connection Podcast to catch this. So is this what your beer event is going to be like for no. anybody? <laughs> <laughs> it is not going to be like this. You, but this you don't is, have to wear a jumpsuit like that. You, you don't have to wear the... Uh, or well, the leader holds. <laughs> you but you do have to wear your favorite Star Wars outfit. Oh, I Just like that. <laughs> I like that. I've got plenty of Star Wars stuff. 
There won't be no. Uh, <laughs> there won't be no uh, um, beer competition, right? <laughs> no beer drinking competitions no. across the table. No. <laughs> we taste the, here. Ta- the glasses tasting. are a little smaller than that. Much smaller, but uh, it, it, a, a great, funny movie. You know, if you're into that, that. Uh, Awkward, weird humor. <laughs> das Boot, Das Boot. A lot of people might know what the reference to Das Boot is, but um, uh, games sound fun. Is there any uh, if vendors want to participate in the in the in the event? Can they still sign up for that, or is that closed closed now? Well, I think food. We do have um, tortas al cien. And, I don't know and so far, but I'm working on a second one that mm-hmm. I had for an event this weekend, but. They're great. I'm not going to say their name no, yet yeah, until fine. we have them confirmed, uh-huh. and then we will have another but one the, or two. But the Rodeo okay. Grounds gives the gives the festival uh, room to grow now, correct? I mean, if yes, it happens throughout absolutely. the next few years, if there's any vendors that want to be involved or get involved, is that is that, is that a possibility? Or yes. At the mo- yeah? Yes. Yeah. Or if you're a home brewer, um, feel free to contact us. And yeah. We'll is there an email, an email address that you may want to share with them? Sure. <laughs> you know, you know you, we could share a link on the bio <laughs> or, if you like. Or find us on social media. <laughs> or find you on social media. Definitely or, a way right, to get a hold in, of us. Right or now. contact Dwayne Sheba at Bottoms Up Homebrew. Dwayne at Dwayne. Bottoms Up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you can use our gen, general rotary info at SteinbeckRotary.org. Perfect. Perfect. We'll I like that. Get back to them there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is, again, the Steinbeck Rotary uh, of Salinas, California. And they can Google you that way and um, and see the link on the <laughs> any links, contact info on uh, uh, on your website, correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, did, I, did I leave anything out that we should be covering right here? Um, just, you know, as far as who works with us, um, oh, yeah. we have JC at Alvarado Street Brewery. He's been a great help. He helps us get some home brewers. He helps with some of the bling that we give to the home brewers. Um, let's see, Dwayne, who else do we have? And... Um, Esteban at, at Kismet. Yeah, yeah. Security, security is probably well, important, but again, from my view, uh, I, I, this is that's why I was trying to say that's why I might get punched in the face later on in the <laughs> in, a, in a later episode for trying to speak negative on my on my city. That, uh, but 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 th- this um, the event was so there was like I said, people mingling from all f- places of of. of California, really. Uh, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, I mean, I was speaking with couples from Carmel area, and I was speaking with couples from the Bay Area, and I was speaking, you know, so, and, and it just seemed that everybody was getting along, and everybody was, you know, not a whole lot of spilt beer anywhere, and, 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 and that's... Don't I, I think, spill your beer. Yeah, I think people, uh, people, uh, people should know that, that this is a very friendly, fun, not 21 and over uh, 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 event. Well, and... You know, the city of Salinas has also been very, they're very, make it very easy on us. They're very um, accommodating. So it's, um, you know, they really want to help, you know, to support Salinas yeah. and, and get people out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess one of the new things that's also going to be emphasized this year is um, women brewers. I think there were maybe two last year. They were very excited about it. And so um, I think to add some variety to the what's often seen as a, a male dominated um, kind of, Industry, okay. mm-hmm. so that'll be kind of fun yes. as well. I'm That's sure we'll get fun. some will new flavors. Will there be a contest for just the women beers or the r- women brewers? You have to wait until it's a little more. <laughs> no, a little, a little more. Got more it. Part of the we population. can't reveal everything. Yeah. Yet. yeah okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> I like it. And also, Chris Stark from the Central Lucia Club. He also helps us out. He helps the day of the event and keep the brewers, um, home brewers, happy and make sure they have their ice and whatever else they need. So we we get. The thing about Rotary, we help each other. That's yep. Um, yep. Um, Steve Vasquez from Lang Street. He's a um, Alisal Rotarian, mm-hmm. and he's stepping up to give us a lot of help. So, that's great. Um, that's awesome. You know, that's one of the great things about being part of Rotary is that we, we pitch in and help each other. I like that. We've been fortunate in um, being able to get sponsors, essentially, to help cover the cost of the event. Mm-hmm. And we already have our first sponsor, Taylor Farms. They're that's sort of our... Yeah presenting yes. sponsor so we're very excited about that so if somebody wants to get involved and do more than just drink beer mm-hmm. yeah. to of course help you can su- do that <laughs> <laughs> help support our <coughs> our youth services um we'll we'll also have that on our our steinbeckrotary.org web page information on how you can sponsor the event and get your name out there about you know what what you're doing with with your business uh, among connoisseurs and those who um are you know drinking for a cause? That's excellent, Debbie. What's your uh, 
what are you excited about tasting this 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 year? Something you tasted last year, you can't wait to. Oh taste my again. goodness, there were some really good. I know some people say that it's wimpy, but some really good fruit oriented beers, <laughs> and some really good um, medium amber kind of ales mm-hmm. that'll be fun. Uh-huh. But I'm also kind of excited to just chat with the brewers and see what kind of fun artistic booths that they come up with because that's really fun too. Last year we had Stormy Daniels. It was a beer. It was very good, very <laughs> popular, <laughs> very robust. <Yeah. laughs> I like that. Carrie, what was it, anything else? Stormy Daniels <laughs> besides the Stormy Daniels. Well, trying to remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the organizer, one of the organizers here. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a great it's a great event and sometimes we might uh, have a little extra, right? Yeah, we had to pace ourselves. So. Pace yourself, yeah? <laughs> Definitely. Lots of water in between. <laughs> uh, I I've, I've been told that uh, a beer, a water, a beer, a water. You you it's a and good way to pace yourself. And Cal Water provide helps fried our beer, or sorry, beer. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> or water, <laughs> so that people can sip on the water, you know. Awesome. Um, awesome. Not, so not Cal Water, Culligan. Culligan. Yeah. Culligan. Excellent. Kim, you got well, a favorite? Well, you know what I really like about the brew fest? Every home brewer has a story to tell. How they came about, how they came up with their name, and the whole gamut of how they named their beers. I mean, it's amazing. So just connecting with the home brewers and hearing their different stories that they have to tell makes it just even, just enhances the flavor for me. Er, er, one of the first things I said is I taste this strawberry br- beer, and like you just said, Debbie, um, you know, it's, it's kind of fruity and weak and whatever it might sound like that but when I was sharing the story I was just so excited about the uniqueness of this Mm -hmm. fruity beer I was like just just hit me I mean you could drink it like juice really (laughs) I mean but I mean it gets that it's beer you know that's why you gotta keep it away from kids yeah yeah those ABVs are not juice really no yeah (laughs) so uh yeah it was it was kind of funny because I you know when I'd see somebody and they'd be like what what was one of your favorites oh man there's this strawberry one right there I was like really the fruity ones oh that's (laughs) you like the fruity ones but no I mean it's it's uh uh the uniqueness is is just really amazing and it makes it uh, that much more fun and special i think and mem- and f- very memorable you know but uh for me anyhow no it really yeah. does yeah any uh wh- what did i forget what did i forget to ask uh, kim thank you so much for sharing about the actual you know the, the brewers i know we don't have uh, enough time on this show to really go through each and every individual one who's going to be showing up but um uh and we've had people show up all three years in a row and they'll be back for the fourth one these Home brewers love love doing it. This is an event um, that they enjoy and look forward to and prepare for. If if you're a home brewer right now and you want to be part of this festival and you're not connected with uh, Dwayne there at Bottoms Up, correct? Um, um, they can can they contact you if they have enough to pour for um, this year? You're going to have a thousand people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and, they, and they've already heard they can find you through the Steinbeck Rotary. SteinbeckRotary.org. Uh, wha- excellent, excellent. We're going to add the tagline, a beer pouring club with a service problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, ladies, I really appreciate uh, you being on the show with us today. And um, I, you know, again, like I said, I hope we get well, well over a thousand people to show up this yes. year's festival. Uh, we're going to keep pushing it and encouraging uh everybody that we know in this social media world to attend your guys' great event, uh, drinking for a good cause. Uh, um, yeah, again, again, thank you so much. Thank you. And please go to our website and see all the fun things we do all year round. You're welcome to support the Steinbeck Rotary any time of the year. Awesome, ladies. Kim, Carrie, Debbie, uh, it's really uh, an amazing event that you guys have, and I look forward to it once again this year. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in to the Connection Podcast. Again, my guest, the Steinbeck Rotary Brew Fest, which happens May the 4th, single de Mile weekend. Uh, so many things to be excited about on, on May the 4th be with you, and I look forward to getting my sip on. Uh, make sure that you're smashing that subscribe button right below. Also, for our listeners on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, make sure you're sh- uh, sharing the show. Uh, get us up in the rankings. Uh, make us your number one favorite podcast. That's all the time we have. I look forward to you tuning in next week. Peace.